Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm with Robert Rodriguez from Technicolor. Now, you guys are offering a brand new uh, color style for Canon 5D Mark II DSLRs that's going to open up a whole new world for lighting and for color correction. It's absolutely correct. It's actually called the Technicolor Cine Style, and it's going to be available under the month as a free download. It'll be uh, not a firmware update, but it'll be a picture style, so a PF2 file that you upload using Canon's uh, free picture style editor. And now, what kind of features is this going to add for shooters? So for the most part, everyone has their secret sauce that they're putting up there. You're going to all these different forums and you're going through uh, starting off on neutral, everyone's dropping their contrast, and everyone has a little bit of curves that they're applying on the picture style editor. What we've done in working with Canon over the past year has been able to get in deeper to that and uh, really give them our curves and our mathematical values that we're looking at to really define that curve the way we want it, to work with a true logarithmic curve, as you can see up on the screen over here. And now. You guys have demonstrated here a quite, a quite an elaborate setup. This may not be for the average shooter, but being as DSLRs are being used for everything from you know, home movies up to uh, national television, how can uh, the 5D Mark II be used better with your Technicolor Cine style? Well, it's a, it's a good point. We have a lot of stuff over here, so the very first thing I want to outline is that you do not need all this extra gear that you have here in order to use a cine style. We welcome everyone to go out there, put this out there, and we really want to benefit the entire film making community, all the cinematographers, by providing this curve. So if you're used to using Apple's Color, um, DaVinci Resolve, now that they've actually put Black Magic out there for free, it's a great thing to actually go to. All we're doing here is providing a better starting point for your color correction pipeline. So we're giving you a, a higher dynamic range, more image to deal with, and then from there, whatever you choose to do with it on the back end, it's, uh, you've got all that uh, more range to play with on there. Sounds great to me. Okay, so what we're looking at over here is our DP light system, and this is our digital printer light system. It's not a consumer-based product or anything that we're actually selling. It's a service that we offer as Technicolor. And what this does is it lets you create looks, if you will, color corrections on set that you're pulling live to the camera. So you can do some live color correction as demonstrated here, and it's completely non-destructive. So what this is doing is basically applying a look, modifying the curve, setting your, your, your values, and they're completely ASC CDL compliant. So what we're guaranteeing with this here is that whatever you see through our color correction will transfer all the way through your post project, maintaining the DP's vision, and anything that you're looking at on the screens here, we could directly represent if you're going to a film out. So this will represent uh, precisely this way through a Kodak Vision stock. And it is completely non-destructive to the file. We always go back to the original source file. These images or these looks you could bake into your offline media, but we recommend obviously when you go back and finish the product, you start back at the quote unquote raw or native files um, and then apply the CDLs and start from there as a good starting point or drop it all and uh, pick it up again with the new colorist. Um, when can people expect to get this and where can they go to get it? End of the month and you'll be going to uh, technicolor.com. It's absolutely free download. Again, it's uh, just kind of our little gift there to uh, to ourselves to kind of put some uh, consistency to all the workflows, but really to the cinematographers and the people that have really embraced the DSL and the cameras. Now it's important to say it's uh, we profiled it specifically for the 5D Mark II, but it is a standard picture style, so if you choose to put it on your 1D or your 7D, it will accept it. Um, you'll just obviously have to play a little bit with the tweaks on there, but uh, we think regardless of the camera you're using this on, it's a great place to start. Well, thanks for your time, Robert. Exciting stuff. Thank you very much. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.